dear students and friends i welcome you all for this e learning topic of arduino arduino is a microcontroller in this uh, 21 days period i'll be sharing my experience i'm not saying i'm an expert in arduino of course i gained some amount of knowledge in this arduino with that i developed some uh, some small i executed small small projects also i am just sharing my experience to you people because you know that uh, from today 25th of march till 14th of april we are in lockdown period so in this lockdown period i just thought of uh, sharing my experience so instead of uh, sitting idle so i i thought of uh, sharing my experience especially on this topic called the arduino with that uh, only i started this this particular mission okay so i am dr m sandeep kumar i am basically a mechanical engineer but of course even though i am a mechanical engineer i gained some knowledge in uh, arduino as i said earlier i executed uh, nearly more than 10 different projects uh, in arduino okay so in these 21 days again i am telling you i will be sharing my experience only okay so it is basically a microcontroller so uh, right from the beginning uh, in uh, electrical and electronics uh, they, uh, they 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 even now they are studying about uh, intel intel 8085 microprocessor or microcontroller after that uh, for the past uh, 10 15 years uh, there is one company called microchip their famous uh microcontroller chip name is pic pic microcontroller so many students uh, when they were in uh, fourth year final year they executed uh, pic microcontroller based projects only of course this arduino is also a microcontroller okay it is something like uh, we are having uh, many different bands of two wheelers and four wheelers if you take a two wheeler there are many bands in that way the microcontroller pick is also a microcontroller arduino is also a microcontroller okay we will see some of the uh, uh, particulars about the microcontroller that i obtained from the internet i'll i'll be just sharing those what is micro we will be seeing about what is microcontroller what is arduino what is what are the different types of boards what do you, what do you mean by uh, sensors uh, digital sensors analog sensors etc etc the coding structures and i'll be skipping some okay at this point of time the introduction so it is a micro control controller basically as any computer it has internal cpu ram ios interface it is used for control purpose and for data analysis okay famous micro controller manufacturers are microchip the microchips is a company that manufacture the pic microcontrollers atmel even this arduino is also using this atmel chip only in arduino board the intel analog devices and there are many more a yeah, micro controller based board containing on board power supply usb port and communicate with P P personal computer and an atmel micro controller chip it simplifies the process of creating any control system by providing the standard board that can be programmed and connected to the system without the need to any sophisticated pcb design and implementation what i say what they say is say take for example the pic microcontroller i said you know in uh, if you want to use a pic microcontroller for that you should buy a programmer separately it is a hardware so you have to remove the chip from your uh, board and it have, it has to be inserted in the uh, uh, the programmer or emulator after that you have to compile it even the compiling also it's a low level programming assembly level programming it is of course it is also a c language something similar to c language but uh, it, it it is a very uh, very tedious process actually comparing to that if you use arduino everything is built in you can just connect that uh, pc uh, the uh, the your uh, the arduino board with the computer directly so Ar- arduino program can be obtained freely because everything is Uh, open source when it comes to Arduino, so through that you can program 
reprogram any number of times in the Arduino board through a USB cable. Very simple actually. Okay. It's a open source of course. Uh, there are many different uh, boards available in the market. So the one famous uh, model is the Arduino Uno board. Uh, this is the Mega, Lillipad, Arduino BT, Arduino Nano, Arduino Mini. You can choose any one or you can test, you can try with all of it also. But my suggestion is you take any one or at the maximum two, not more than two of course. Okay. So worldwide uh, many people are, most of the people are using Uno. But my, if you take myself, I am all along I will be using Arduino Nano only. Th uh, theoretically or specification wise also as well, absolutely there is no difference between Uno and Nano. Uh, the uh, for example this nano and you know has got uh, 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 14 in digital inputs and outputs maybe six or seven uh, analog inputs uh, okay both are having same number of inputs and outputs uh, both in uh, digital as well as in analog uh, aspect okay uh, but uh, the size wise you know it is very simple so it, it occupies only very less space actually even it is the uh, size wise it is not even uh, uh, 40 45 mm to by uh, 15 mm or so very 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 little small footprint it has okay so i'll be uh, maybe in the following uh, video sessions i'll be showing and using uh, and doing many projects executing many projects using arduino nano board only okay the one beauty of this thing is whether you are using Uno, Mega, Lily, Nano, Mini or anything, the program remains the same. The interfacing program, the programming interface is same. So same program can be fused in Nano, in Uno or in any of the models available under Arduino umbrella. So that is the beauty of this particular thing. As I said earlier, you can, you can uh, uh, copy, you can copy the program you can fuse the program any number of times more than thousand two thousand times you can insert but only thing is uh, be careful in the connections so uh, the connections i'll tell you later so this is the layout actually okay so i'll use my own uh, thing uh, when it comes to uh, the analog uh, the the board diagram actually right so what is digital and what is analog let us see okay see many persons say that uh, give their, their own explanation in many ways but even what i am telling you now is my it is my own uh, way of explanation actually let us say example of digital uh, here they said english alphabets has number of uh, 26 letters right but there is no letter between a and b or if you take uh, a computer coding or they all the computer follows the binary code 0 and 1 there is nothing in between 0 and 1 so 0 means maybe off 1 means on so there is nothing in between off and on so that means it is a digital that means it is a digital so square wave is a digital pulse width modulation pwm are all uh, uh, composed of square waves only it is all a digital based signal actually Okay. the analog for example the temperature can vary from 0 degree to 100 degree okay it is analog signal okay so uh, i in the previous uh, video i i put a, i published a video on plc also the plc board uh, very special plcs alone have analog and digital analog uh, inputs and outputs but by default in uh, Arduino, Uno or Nano, it has uh, six channels of analog inputs, of course. Uh, it, it doesn't have analog output, of course. So 14 digital input and output. You can consider all 14 either as input or as output. Okay, it can be defined in the program. Okay, it has six or seven, uh, eight, I, I think so, eight uh, analog uh, inputs actually. Okay, so the temperature is analog parameter pressure is analog parameter force is analog parameter okay i'll be skipping some of this so these are some of the photoresistor photodiode phototransistors are maybe coming under the input category okay 
so this is a photo sensor we call it a ldr light uh, detected uh, light dependence resistor ldr or photodiode photo transistor these are all can be used as input or a simple switch is an input okay the arduino coding so arduino coding is exactly it is it is almost nothing but uh, c programming okay it is almost similar to c programming i will show you now i will show you all these things uh, uh, in uh, my uh, when it comes to programming and execution part so this is the layout of a nano board okay uh, in this being the first video i will be showing you know now but after that i will be touch i will be uh, showing one and only nano okay you see the digital pins 0 to 13 0 to 13 14 digital pins it has the analog pins 0 to 5 6 analog pins it has so you can you can connect uh, say for example 14 digitals you know first 14 6 uh, 7 you can use it as input and 7 you can use it as output so you can have 7 inputs and 7 outputs in addition to this even you can use uh, maybe uh, analog pin 0 to 3 you can use it as uh, digital inputs also as well i tested i tried okay analog inputs can also be used digital inputs okay it is possible okay uh, some pins uh, can only be used as analog input okay so this is the layout now if you see the pin numbers it has uh, nearly uh, uh, the number of pins uh, nearly 28 pins or 30 pins or so okay so pin number uh, one two these are the charts that i prepared from the from this diagram okay so these are the digital input 0 1 io means input and output up to 13 okay the analog uh, inputs uh, analog in a0 to a5 uh, here the a4 and a5 can be used as i2c i2 I, I squared c or i2c okay so uh, in some of the projects you will be will be we suppose you uh, will be using the uh, the two line lcd display right so that can be directly connected uh, through the pins a4 and a5 i'll i'll show you i'll tell you and show you later so hereafter i'll be using one and only the arduino nano so this is the nano board of course so uh, it has 30 pins starting from pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 15 this side 15 that side 16 17 18 19 20 it goes up to 30 okay so it has io 1 io 2 io 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so d13 d0 to d13 there are 14 digital inputs and outputs as i said earlier all the 14 d's can either be used as digital uh, uh, digital in, uh, input or as output okay so half of maybe seven inputs and seven outputs then analog inputs a0 to a7 okay in you know it has only a5 whereas that is six uh, analog inputs uh, whereas uh, even though the uh, nano board is uh, small it has eight digital inputs that is why i i confine myself with arduino nano okay whether you use arduino uno or arduino nano the programming is common okay so these are the different pins the different analog pins available with you okay as i said earlier up to a0 to a3 you can even use that as can be used as digital ios also that is what i mentioned here can be used as digital io a0 to a3 the four analog pins can can be used as both either as a, both as uh, uh, analog input or as digital inputs also that means uh, over and above uh, in addition to 14 uh, digital ios you have 
you have four more digital eyes actually digital eyes actually it is not io it is only i you can use it as input only you cannot you can't use it as output can be used as digital input okay uh, Th these are uh, these are also analog pins actually uh, for this some special purposes you can use a4 and a5 a6 a7 can only be used as uh, analog input okay and these are the pins uh, you can give the power supply through the pins 29 and 30 29 and 30 you see 29 is the ground 0 volt sometime they say 0 volt sometime they say uh, minus v sometime they put gnd whether it is G and D 0 or minus V all are same the pin number 29 pin number 30 also you can send as a power supply okay uh, of course this is the USB host uh, socket through that only you can connect the board with the computer through USB cable okay so when when you the moment you insert the cable with this through the computer though it takes the power from the computer actually through the USB cable so no separate power supply is required at this point, at that point of time. After that, uh, either through uh, by a separate uh, 5 volt adapter, you just uh, using the USB cable, you can uh, USB cable and 5 volt adapter, you can say you can uh, supply the power to the nano as a standalone device or through pins 29 and 30, you can supply a yeah, uh, not 5 volt here now the voltage range should be between 7 to 10 it said but of course you can start you can start between 5, uh, 5 to 12 volts actually you can supply a 12 volt uh, even here straight away i tested i uh, it is working actually okay so even though they mentioned here as 10 volt you can use 12 volt not more than actually the the maximum volt permissible voltage is 16 as per the data sheet right so 12 volt DC power supply is well and good. Otherwise, uh, this ground pin number 29 and this uh, pin number 27 5 volt, you can you can uh, supply the power to the board for its running. So there are three ways of powering in the Arduino Nano board. Either through USB port, you can uh, uh, give a power to this particular board, or pin number 29 and 30, where you can send a 12 volt DC power supply or pin, pin number 29 and 27 5 volt uh, power supply. So uh, you can choose any one of these three. Uh, as per the uh, data in the Arduino portal, they said uh, it, it it will choose the maximum uh, voltage uh, by default automatically. Okay, meaning even you can connect uh, 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 the power USB power will get connected here. At the same time, pin number 29 through pin number 29 and 30, you can supply a power of 12 volt DC. But it will take the power through this actually. Okay. But this is for programming, fusing the program onto the chip. For that, this is the only way. Okay. So now uh, I'll show you the Arduino. Uh, this is the Arduino uh, I, uh, program icon. So this is the Arduino compiler. Take some time now, of course. Uh, this is a program that I developed for Pani Puri vending machine. So I let me close this one. Oh, program is closed. Sorry. let me open a new file so new file is opened now I close so this is how it looks okay again let me open my recent program also this is the recent program you see if you see that it is all along something similar to the C language actually okay so don't worry so I will I'll, I'll give you a I'll assure you that uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, in the second session or the third session you will gain some confidence you will gain confidence on how to write a program for 
simple activities to start with to switching on a lamp or a light or a fan or any appliances then slowly we'll see more and more programs okay but let me give a, a small brief about how how the how about the programming with that i'll stop now maybe in the next uh, session i'll uh, we'll straight away see the, the uh, some problems the problem statement and execution uh, making a project to solve that particular problem statement right so there are two things only here there is one loop called setup another loop called another uh, uh, block called there are two blocks it is my own way of explanation there are two blocks only by default okay setup block and loop block in the setup block all initial conditions you have to incorporate in the loop only you have to put all your commands okay uh, how what it it supposed to do okay for example when the moment i uh, press a switch okay the light number 2 should be on so for all those things you should write a program inside the loop block only okay so uh, this is uh, sufficient for time being okay in the next session i will we'll straight away get into the problem okay thank you